Hi guys, long time no see, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to be making the Chaos Space Marine battle tank or transport tank. If you want to know how to make one of these, just follow along and I will show you how I did it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. Um, let's get started. Just pause the screen and you can take down the measurements you see here. For this we will come back later to this part. Don't forget the door. Right now let's copy this to a piece of uh, thin cardboard as you see here to make templates. Now put this aside for now. Just don't forget to mark the back and the front because that is important later on. Now trace these templates to a piece of double corrugated cardboard. Use the double corrugated, it's uh, sturdier. Now put these aside when you've cut them out. Now this template we're going to trace on a piece of 2 cm thick uh, pink isolation foam. When you cut these these uh, pieces out, make sure be sure to make uh, slow cuts or you will tear up the foam. You don't want that. You will get uh, crooked or torn uh, edges. So take it slow with this one, guys. Put these aside. Don't forget, uh, we're going to be doing this now. Don't forget when we uh, cut these out, make sure one of these templates, because you're going to need to cut out two of them, do not forget to mark down a door. This will be the part that covers uh, the wheel, the wheel cap. We're also going to be needing to cut out a roof. Also, again, double corrugated cardboard. This is something I forgot to put on the template, I'm sorry for that. I will write it here on the template, if it's still unnecessary, but uh, yeah, it was four and a half centimeters, this part. We're also going to need a smaller piece that is two centimeters high and six centimeters long. It will be the bumper piece. Now let's just hot glue everything together, shall we? And we will make our tank box, or our, well, the basic shape of our tank. Let the glue cure. And here we have our box shape, tank shape. I have a little bit of an overlap, but I will cut that away later. Now I'm also going to add a little bracket inside for the sturdiness of the tank. And also uh, cut out a piece that is the back door of the tank, or the hatch or whatever you want to call it. Also hot glue everything together. And here we have our basic tank shape. This is where I, this is the back part, the front part. That's why I uh, told you to note it down, which is uh, the back and which is the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Now glue those uh, wheel caps on. Do the same for the other side but uh, before you do if you have an overlap like i have just cut that off right now otherwise you won't be able to reach it anymore now 
and here we have our basic shape of our tank now let's play around with it and cover it up with some cladding of you know well some cardstock also trace out uh, two templates of this you will need uh, well two pieces of it one for the door and one uh, that is the other side just cut that out with a piece of with some plain scissors use a an exacto blade to cut out the door otherwise it could be a little bit fidgety I mark some ventilation holes in here and I also trace out uh, the door here as well as you can see now we're going to use some white glue to uh, attach this cardstock just smear it all, all over so it's uh, it's everywhere. Do the same on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Now uh, I did not film that, that. I also used some cardstock to cover up uh, the entire structure of the tank. Now we're going to cover up uh, with another piece of cardstock that is the same width as our wheel caps, and we're going to uh, put that over it just to well, clean it up a little bit do that also on both sides just score the lines as you saw me do right here just score them so you can bend them easier uh, into shape and use some white glue or hot glue if you prefer to uh, stick this down just make sure the glue is everywhere or you will have some problems afterwards I'll take another piece of cardstock and uh, print some icons. I use the icon of corn because that's what I'm making. But you can literally use any uh, any sign you want. Uh, for now, we're going to take uh, three triangles of those offcuts and we're going to make uh, the headlights. Just cut off two uh, triangles that are basically one centimeters, as you can see me do right here. Proceed to take out your exacto blade and well, cut out a little piece that is the inside where the, the lights would be. Be careful not to cut yourself. Like this. And then proceed to uh, glue them on. There we go. Now I'm also taking another piece of cardstock and I'm going to make uh, the front windows. Just cut them out with an exacto blade as well. You can choose the size you you prefer or whichever. This is the way I went about it to make it. Just use some PVA glue, glue that on. Now cut out uh, with some scissors the uh, the symbol you printed out. I also used an exacto blade to cut out the uh, hard to reach edges with the scissor. So I used the exacto for that one. Now I just uh, simply glue this onto another piece of thin cardstock or oh, thin cardboard actually. glue that on and our tank will look like this and we I also added a few more uh, symbols on the front and on the back now I'm taking a, a cloth hanger a wooden one snap that in two and we're going to start now with embellishing our tank. 
just give it some extra details. If you don't have this, you prefer to use something else, it's your tank, you can do with it whatever you want, guys. I just chose to use this because I had it. Mark it where uh, the edge of the tank would be, and then cut it off with the scissors. Be careful because they, they are wooden, so they break easily. I did not do it on the, the back too because, well, they are... You will see later why I chose to use another uh, piece of support, as you can see here. This is a barbecue skewer or a kebab skewer. And I'm going to use that to embellish uh, the, the tank with some iron spikes. And I'm going to do that all over the tank, as you will see in a, in a bit. Just place them wherever you see fit or wherever you want. As Again, there is no right or wrong way, just make the tank your own. Be creative, have fun with it, play around with it. It's your tank. I uh, used white glue to glue up, uh, to glue on those uh, pickets. Here it fell off, but no worries, it'll be okay later. Now this is a, a coffee cup I had and I kind of liked the, the look of the top. It kind of made me feel like a bunker hatch or a hatch or something. And there's also a, a piece of plastic inside, hard plastic, that I can use as well. Be careful not to cut your fingers again when you cut this off, okay? This is the piece of plastic I made. I'm using hot glue again to uh, attach this. Here I'm adding some more uh, decorations from some wooden, uh, yeah, some wooden pieces I had laying about. Maybe you won't do the exact, can be able to replicate the exact same things that I'm using because you will have other things, but just use whatever you have or cut it out of cardboard or, well, be creative. As I said, it's your tank. Have fun with it. Some more spikes to embellish uh, the tank. <laughs> now let's have some more fun and embellish it further. Now I'm going to use some uh, wooden... Uh, blocks I have, thin wooden blocks to uh, cover up a lot of the bad, well not mistakes but uh, the bad cutting work so and I just like to embellish the tank as I said many times before you can stick on to this thing whatever you prefer I'm gonna do the front as well now I have some uh, foam, EVA foam uh, figures, just gonna randomly uh, glue them on. Use a little bit too much glue here, but that's alright. It'll dry clear, so it doesn't matter. Spikes on the other side. Same if you have a little bit of space, you just put some white glue down and you can easily fit the, the tips of those barbecue kebab skewers, the points of them, you can easily fit them in between them if everything is well and dried. And they will hold in place quite nicely. Now for my favorite part putting corpses on the tank and embellishing it further to make it look like a true uh, tank of corn. Now I have a lot of uh, miniatures of zombie side that I'm actually not using anymore, but uh, so yeah, I figured those would make uh, good corpses to uh, place on my tank and keep the bases, all right, I guess, because you're going to need them for later. Well, if you're not going to use them, uh, 
Now, this is, of course, everything you see here is optional, guys. Um, if you want to do this, be free to do it. If you have just some spare parts or bits, doesn't matter from what, you can attach anything to this tank. Now here you can see I'm carving up uh, some lines um, in between. This is where I'm going to use the bases because this is where the wheels are going to go for uh, the tank itself. Now if you don't use the bases or don't have any of those things, you can easily just use cardboard wheels or uh, buttons. Whatever you have, you can use anything you prefer or anything you like. I just happen to have this. I'm cutting off a little piece so it will uh, fit better on uh, the top. And then put some hot glue down. And simply stick it in. Now I have some skulls lying about from uh, Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is always a nice time. You will always find uh, some good things you can use for later. And I had these skulls laying about, so I figured might as well use them here. Now I'm also again taking another pointy edge of those uh, kebab skewers, and I'm gonna super glue these into the top of the beads, the bead skulls, like this. Now I'm taking some. Uh, some more EVA phone and I'm gonna cut out uh, the well the tracks of the of the tank again using hot glue as you can see here just attach it to the, the barrels if you have an overlap you can saw it off <laughs> as you see me here because the hot glue was a uh, kind of hard kind of was a little bit of excess with it Covering up uh, some ugly looking piece here with another piece of wooden block. Don't worry, it will look okay when it's painted, guys. I'm not a perfect crafter like a lot. I'm a lot of a miss. I'm more of a messy crafter, but eventually I get things done. Now here I just hot glued the corpses to the tank and uh, sticked in the uh, piece of a toothpick with some uh, super glue. These chains you see hanging about are simply just uh, cheap uh, chains from the Action, that's our local dollar store here in Belgium. And here you can see I've I think I've when just when you think about you get enough pieces on the tank. There's always room for more. And it's a good thing to super glue these uh, necklaces, these fake chains, because they will they will harden up pretty pretty good. Here I put some uh, EVA pieces I cut out and uh, just attached them with some white glue to the to the tracks. Now let's go outside and I'm gonna spray paint it. Now I spray painted it with a matte flat black and then when that was dry I gave it an overspray with a red paint. Now unfortunately I only had the high gloss but yeah it'll do. And as you can see <laughs> added some more details. Now let's paint this tank. Just paint uh, with the Runelog Blast brass and whatever you prefer, the Deepkin flesh for everything you want, uh, the corpses and the skulls, because I'm going to use contrast paint to paint, uh, to paint them up. We're now going to be working with black and I'm going to paint everything black that is metal, that's supposed to be the spikes. I'm going to do everything first with an undercoat of a simple black. Then I'm going to use some Stormhost Silver, later on I'm switching over to a cheaper uh, silver, an acrylic silver, and I'm going to stipple, overbrush everything that I've painted up black, except for the wheel tracks of course, they are staying black. Here I 
I've switched over to a cheaper uh, so now I'm also gonna battle damage it and putting down some Mornfang brown all over this will be simulating dirt and uh, later on some rust effects as well also across uh, the metal to uh, to create a weathering effect of rust and old metal The Bane Blade in Brown that I'm using here is uh, to add more uh, grime and dirt to the brown texture underneath the tank that I've painted up with the Mornfang Brown. Just splash it all over. Also across the spikes at the bottom, just from all the dirt and mud that the tank has been kicking up while driving over corpses and all kinds of st stuff. Now all that uh, remains is also just to paint the corpses as you see fit. I'm using contrast paints. This is definitely not my best paint job, but well, just wanted to get it done. The corpses, I mean. Now I'm gonna use some skeleton horde on the skulls that I have uh, all over the tank. And then I made a simple black wash, it's just some water, uh, black paint and a drop of dish soap and I'm gonna cover the entire piece with it. Now let that dry. I'm also using some orange paint to uh, create the rust effects. As you can see the wash has dried and the, the tank is starting to look better in my opinion. Again with the Mornfang Brown to uh, re-enhance the dirt underneath the tank. Now I'm gonna make some blood for the Blood God and I'm using contrast uh, Pinch Flesh Terrors Red and Blood Angels Red. I'm gonna mix uh, equal amounts of both of them. And I'm uh, mixing in some uh, gloss varnish and that will create the exact same effect as you would get with the uh, Blood for the Blood God Technical Paint by Citadel. It doesn't matter which gloss varnish you use, all are good. Just make sure you mix the contrast paints with the gloss varnish and as I said you will get an equal uh, effect as Blood for the Blood God. And just start to stipple that all over uh, the tank or over the corpses or wherever you want. And with that, we are nearing the end and our tank is finished. After this, I'm going to show you some, uh, some uh, pictures of the finished tank with some terrain around it. Here we go. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you like it and yeah stay tuned for a lot more to come see you guys thank you for watching bye bye now